And I'm Crash. And today we're going to show you easy <laughs> quarter pipe stalls. So yeah, we're going to show you some stalls. And sorry we didn't film last week. We were snowed in last weekend. And we're going to be snowed in tomorrow too, because that makes sense. But literally shorts weather and it's going to snow tomorrow. <laughs> and so with that, let's get right into it. So the first one is a feeble stall, but I recommend doing it on a ledge or a curb to work up to being on a quarter pipe. Even if it's not that big, still practice on a curb. With all these tricks, practice a little bit on a ledge or something first before you go straight to transition. You gotta get comfortable. Yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get up here. You're gonna like bunny hop. And your scooter is like this. And then you gotta have make sure that your back wheel is like in this coping that's what it's called in the coping or less you'll like slide this way and all that fun stuff and then you just like 90 back in and you can also do it this way so you want your toes facing out towards the quarter Okay, now this trick is called a smith, and it's like the Feeble's older brother. So what we're gonna do is hang our front wheel off it, um, and this time, with our toes facing forwards. And when you come up, it's a little trickier than a Feeble because you can't just slide into it like this. You actually have to jump and land with your front wheel as close to the coping as possible. And then I like my back wheel less angled than a Feeble, so I'm not trying to do this like a disaster like closer to the coping like this. So I will show you. The next one is called a disaster. You go up the quarter pipe and like right where you jump for a feeble usually, you'll do a 180. And you want the center of your deck to be on the coping and you'll like 180 on it and then you'll just roll back it. It's like what you're doing when you're dropping it. With the 180. Our next song is a tire tap. And this one actually doesn't involve the coping. You're just gonna ride up the ramp, hit your wet like completely all the way on the brake right here is what you want so you don't slide out like this and die so you want all your weight on the back and you're gonna basically hold it in a manual position with your front wheel up and pop back into the ramp okay one more thing for this one you can actually practice jumping in because jumping is is a little bit more scary when you're not on the coping so i would like stand right here and jump in if you want, for even easier, you can start right here and jump in. Honestly, you could do it with everything else too. Just go up, get into that feeble position, jump in, practice, get your confidence up. Just whatever you need to help you land it. Good. I mean, I couldn't land a feeble. So on that one, I don't know if you could tell, but I did not have my weight fully on the brake and almost slipped out and died. You saw my wheel move a little bit, freaked me out a little bit. So just make sure all that weight is on the brake when you're doing that install. This one is called a salad, but it's the exact same thing as a feeble, but you don't lock in. So you'll go up and you'll be like this, and then you'll just jump back in. Front wheel not touching the top of the ring. This one's kind of a goofy one. It's called a cam cam foot plant. And what you're gonna do is jump up on top of the ramp and in the air you stick your front foot out of the front of your scooter, not, the, not behind you, not behind you like this, but out in front, because that makes it more tricky. And you hold your scooter like this and then you jump in. This is a really, it's a tricky one because you have to jump and get your foot back on top of the scooter. It's just kind of awkward feeling. So this one I would definitely recommend trying flat first, maybe off a little drop before you take it to a quarter pipe. The 
next one is called a rock. So you're going to roll up the rim. And only your front wheel is going to be above the coping. Your back foot will be on your brake. And you're going to turn around and pull back down. But make sure you're going to lean on your back. And then kind of lean forward so you don't manual down the whole thing and slip out. So, there are actually two variations to the rock, and the second one is the rock to fakey. So you're going to do the same stall, and then come back out, rolling backwards. Make sure that you can fakey before you try this, please. Please don't try this if you can't fakey. So, you're just going to put it up like this, make sure you get your front wheel back over the coping, and then you're going to want to lean forward, because if you lean back, you're looping out, and that's no fun. So. You'll see me, I'm going to be like over the bars like this. That's what you want to practice. Uh, okay, so the next thing we want to talk about is everything that we showed you can be done the opposite direction. So uh, if you learn these tricks, get them down good. I would recommend trying them the opposite way. So like... Just an example with the feeble, I feeble this direction right here. Um, instead of doing that, you can roll up the opposite direction and have your feet pointed this way and do cool things like a 270 out or something like that, which wheels we'll talk about with our combinations. So with the feeble, you can add, or anything really, you can add bar spins, tail whips, you can get up uh, in a manual position, and you can like tail whip in, spin in, bar spin in. You can make all sorts of combos. It's endless. Yeah, so basically, you can just add a bunch of tricks together and do different things. So experiment, um, learn new combinations. We'll show you a few of our favorite combinations right now. I said it's like dropping in. It's like what you're doing when dropping in. Good. I mean, I couldn't land a feeble. It's almost like the opposite of a disaster.
your foot. Can I start again? So, so you're gonna lean on your back. I didn't get your hand that much. Surprised me to think about it. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something. If you want us to go into more detail on one of the stalls, like make a short or something, please leave it down in the comments below. And, and hit that red button that says subscribe. Yeah. Also, if you want us to um, make a video describing some of those combos we showed you, we could totally do a combo video. Just tell us that you want to see it in the comments and we will do it. So give us other video ideas too that you guys would enjoy. This video is actually a suggestion, so thank you whoever this was for um, uh, recommending this video. It was fun. Anyways, I think that's everything. So don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.